right, good morning. So this is a lesson on your mid-segment theorem. So first of all, we're gonna talk about what is a mid-segment. So um, looking up right here, I think you guys can see this. <clears throat> a mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, all right? So we've looked at, mid at midpoints before. Midpoint is just the middle point of a segment, right? Um, and so each side of a triangle can have a midpoint. Side A, B here, the midpoint is D. Side B, C, the midpoint is E. And the midpoint separates that side into two equal parts. On um, side A, C here, the midpoint is F. And I forgot to mark the congruency right here. There we go. All right, so those are the midpoints. So a mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So DE right here connects the mid-segment from side AB, sorry, the midpoint from side AB, and the midpoint from side BC. So we draw a segment connecting those two midpoints, and this, is, this becomes a mid-segment. I said right up here, DE is a mid-segment, all right? Now, we can also have um, the, a mid-segment can join two other sides. So I'm going to erase this one for right now. I can draw a mid-segment from E to F, and that's another mid-segment. Let me draw. I've got my straight edge here. I can connect E to F. It's not a great marker, but that is another mid-segment, okay? So it connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. Now, the mid-segment theorem is going to give us two special properties about a mid-segment, all right? So it's, there, it's actually kind of neat. Um, the mid-segment is always parallel to the third side. So if, I hope you notice that on the first one and, of course, the second mid-segment that I drew, that this line right here, this mid-segment connecting these two midpoints is parallel to the third side, right? I hope you guys can see that, that this line is parallel to this one. So that's one characteristic of a mid-segment. That's part of the mid-segment theorem. So the mid-segment, once it's drawn, is parallel to the third side of the triangle, all right? Um, so if I go back to DE here, use my straight edge and connect D and E again, you can see that now it's parallel to this side, okay? So your mid-segments are always parallel to the third side of the triangle. Okay, it connects two sides, the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, and it's always going to be parallel to the third side. So that's one um, characteristic of a mid-segment of a triangle that the mid-segment theorem talks about. The second characteristic is that it is half as long as a third side. So DE here is half as long as AC. So not only is it parallel to it, but it's also half as long. So we can say, let me get a different marker here. We can say, in the, for instance, in this, uh, this one, that DE equals one half AC, okay? So the mid-segment is always half the, the length of the third side, and it's always parallel to the third side. So even if I go back and do this mid-segment over here, come back and do con connect these two mid-segments, okay? So again, I've got another mid-segment. This is parallel to this, right? And then now I can say that FE equals one half B or AB. Okay, so it's parallel to AB. So FE is also parallel to AB, and it's also one half the length of AB. All right, so that's your mid-segment theorem. The segment theorem, the segment connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle the segment here is parallel to the third side and half as long as the third side. So if this is 8, what's AB going to be? 16. Hopefully you guys thought 16 right away. All right. So again, the mid-segment is half the length of the third side and it's parallel to the third side. All right. So now let's look at a problem that deals with that. I'm going to slide the camera over to this example here. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. All right, so now we've got another triangle here with some mid-segments mid indicated on here. So we have triangle RTS. 
all right, or RST, however you want to name it, it's new by the three vertex, vertices. All right, so we're given that UW and VW are mid-segments, all right? So if we know they're mid-segments, we know, oops, I just appeared there. If we know they're mid-segments, we know that they're connecting the midpoints, right? Okay, so UW, this is a midpoint, so that means this side must be equal to this side, right? If UW is a mid-segment, that means U is a midpoint and W is a midpoint. So that means this must be equal to this. And then if W is a midpoint as well, that means SW must be congruent to WT. Again, I'm gonna go through and mark all the congruencies that I know based on what's given, all right? So if I've been given that UW is a mid-segment, I know that U must be a midpoint because a mid-segment connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, that means R to U is equal to U to T. W is also a midpoint. That means SW is equal to WT. So I've marked that, all right? Always a great idea to mark your congruencies. Second thing we know is that VW is a mid-segment, all right? So VW right here is a mid-segment. That means W, of course, is a midpoint. We've already marked that one. And then V is also a midpoint. That means RV is equal to V. S, all right? So now I've marked all of my congruencies. Now, if they're mid-segments, based on my mid-segment theorem, I can also mark some things that are parallel, right? I can also mark that this is parallel to this, and then this one is parallel to this one, all right? So, lots of fun things. Again, you can think, oh, I've got a set of parallel lines with a transversal. If we needed to figure out angles, we could probably figure out some angle things. I don't know if you can see that this angle is congruent to here. All sorts of fun, fun things. All right, but we will not go there yet, <laughs> really. Uh, but again, try to keep thinking through all those things that we've learned about sets of parallel lines and transversals, because as you can see, we've got parallel lines. This could be a transversal. I don't think we're gonna have to use that here, but just remember that, because you might have to use that later. All right, so they've given us that RS is 12, and VW is 8. We need to find UW. Okay, so UW. We want to find the length of this mid-segment mid segment here. All right, so back to our mid-segment theorem. It says that mid-segments are half as long as the third side. All right, so if the third side is 12, what does UW have to be? Hopefully you guys said 6, okay? So I'm going to use my red marker because blue is not working. All right, so this is six. Again, mid-segments are parallel to the third size, and they're half as long as the third side. All right, so we know UW equals six. Let's look at RT. All right, so RT is right here, okay? So we that's the side of the triangle. We know we have this mid-segment right here, which is parallel to RT, okay? And if this is the mid-segment, if the mid-segment here is eight, what does RT have to be? Hopefully you guys have said 16, okay? So again, the mid-segment is always half the length of the third side. The side that it's parallel to is going to be half the length of, all right? So RT is 16. All right, so again, that was using our mid-segment theorem. Lots of other ways we can use the mid-segment theorem. Again, we could look at angles if we're trying to figure out angles. Um, we can do lots of things. So again, try to keep things in mind. Don't forget about your parallel lines and all the, the angles that we learned, alternate interior, alternate exterior, things like that with your um, transversals and parallel lines, because we might see that again. All right, um, and that is the lesson for today. Bye.